shall we? Oh, good. It's not gonna give us a title, huh? But this is uh, Scenario 40, the other side of light and dark, supposedly. So here we are, in, you know. <laughs> where the fuck are we? This is where Hades is in it? Yeah, yep, we're in hell, the realm of the dead. And here they come. The army of darkness. And then the good is it's Space Satan. And Zool! Hello, Mars, I'm back. Emperor Zool was like, dang it, dude, these dudes are coming all back. Oh. This isn't good. He's like, yeah, that's right, we're back. And they're yelling about how their power of darkness is makes them invincible and they're immortal and they're high dimensional beings and it's brilliant and it's beautiful. And. Shoro talk shit about Space Satan you already defeated by humanity once before, eat shit. Oh, well, the dead didn't we do this once already? No, we went to the, the ghost realm, which is different. But yeah, these fuckers, it turns out when there's the, like, the Emperor of Darkness, it turns out that they live in the realm of darkness, so you have to go there and beat them up all the time. But yeah, Shoro talks shit and they disable uh, his uh, control unit for Tetsujin. It's like, oh no, he busted the thing. This is no good. And it's like, that's right. Now Tetsujin 28 is ours to play with. And they steal it. It's like, oh, dang it. it like, no way, Tetsujin, come back. What are you doing, Shoro? He's like, he's going to listen to me. He's my friend. That's right. He doesn't need the control box. Space Satan, you're full of shit. Yeah, it's like, this may be your home ground, but we're still wild as hell. It's like, you wanna die? But it's basically all these two can do to, like, um, keep Shoro from controlling it. And now, we are faced with, the, faced with the spirits of the dead, and there's no light and no hope, only hatred, fear, and pain. And, uh... It's like, dang it, it's all... He's like, don't worry, you guys can't do shit here. This is the mindless of humanity. You're done. There is no light. It's garbage. Then they leave and we're like, oh well, I guess we'll just fight these angels then. Whatever, fine, fuck them up. Let's beat them up. Beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. It's like, don't worry, Shara, we'll sort your shit out. Shinji stays like, alright, alright, don't worry. First thing first, take out the angels. Oh yeah, look at the princess getting all rowdy. Zool, you're going down. Light and darkness. Mm. But yeah, well, he just summoned all the angels that we've beaten. And they're all fucking garbo. Was that Apollo just there? Yeah! Apollo's been around for like six stages. Where is he? Yeah. Big good query. He showed up stage... Yeah, stage 35. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so this is the sixth stage he's been with us. Is Shinji fighting an old angel? like, I started piloting neighbors in order to fight against the angels. Though those were tough times, they're much better than the present. 
still, there's no going back. Poor Shinji. I mean, to be fair, no, he's no, done like devil, literally one attack. Like he just like the only thing he's done was punch Ryoma. Like once, like that's all he's done. And then, huh, I've only seen this angel in data files. But that's that brat that brat's beaten this one before, so. There's no way I can't do the same. So yeah, these are all the angels that were before Asuka's time. And if she fights the seventh angel, she has a unique thing to say. Chips are uh, uh, after the angel defeated, have Hibiki fight a dude and make sure Gibby and Dario are in a team and they have to defeat an enemy and something like for their little conversation. Jokers can definitely do this. I believe in you. Alright. I guess you gotta go fucking faster. Okay. Blow that sucker up. Blah. I guess they gotta do it after we blow up with the jokers then, sure. Sure. Zeska, uh, she's got the accelerate. Not. Oh, Alright. 
Listen up. Owie, stop being fucking trash, alright? Going in, all right. Going <laughs> to get to the big boy. This is it. Sorry, Rico, I shit head ain't your, your garbo. I actually want to like, use that up. Ugh. The bug where Snipe stays isn't there anymore. So that was. That zeal. That's bullshit. The only time she ever pulls out the cake is when she's got no energy for the barrier. Or I guess when they do a barrier pierce, but still. And no enemy's gonna be able to hit her ever again, so you know. Oh, it's Just hanging out, don't worry about it. Oh, that's what it was. Well, it's well hard, dude. Yeah, I should have attacked literally anybody else in range. Instead of that one dude by himself. It's Bum, 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 
Yeah, you try and blow up. Banjo. Banjo, hold on. He's got his fan. And then we'll have to wear this move. Fucking kill here for oh, Koji got big juice. <laughs> star missile. Oh, hell, he fucking died. This dude fucking dead. It was an original spaceship. Don't steal it. That robot did a real big move. Piss. And then, this is the first angel I fought. Back when I first met with the with, with the brat Shinji, none of us can go back to those days, and I'm not the same person either. Yeah, it's the same crew that keep Die Guard going. Just give it a, the scythe too. Got that Joker. We did it. We took down all the angels. Nice work. Space Satan and Zula back there, like, don't worry, it's no problem, we can just make more, the power of darkness is infinite, let's see, blammo. Like, and that's not all we got! 
Look at that, it's a bandock. Got down computer dolls, and it's like, I am computer doll at number eight. What? That's number eight? The actual number eight from all the way back then? Dang it, and it's like, yep, humans are still bad, they're garbage, fuck them, they're the worst. All they do is, they're the most e evil thing in space, they just kill each other in hatred and enhance the power of darkness. If it wasn't for humans, then these guys wouldn't be so powerful in the first place. It's like, shut up, shut up! <laughs> this computer is good and smart, even he knows humanity is bad. Power of darkness. And then look over there, Mikage shows up too, and he's like, howdy fellas. This guy's like, hey, just uh, popped in to view your last moments. He's like, what's that? You thought the solar aquarium could uh, lighten uh, the mood, winged dog? Aquarium, here we go. Time for you solar aquariums, son bullshit. So the parents like, watch this, Mikage. We'll show you our power. Apollo, let's do it. Oh, Aquarian! Nothing. He's like, wait. he's like, that's right, winged dog. The darkness is too dark. Dang it! Don't give up, Apollo. Amada, he's like, come on, dude, just give it another shot. That's right, Apollo. So Aquarian's light can get rid of everything. It's good. Damn, you're right, other me. And then. Here's a Apollo. That is Fudo. And he's like, nope, it's not gonna work. What, did you, Fudo, what are you doing coming over here, old man, telling us that it's not gonna work? The old man's full of fucking bullshit. I hate Fudo. He's useless, he's worthless, he's garbage. And he's like, the last solar aquarium incident that happened 12,000 years ago was the pouring forth of those 12,000 years with, of accumulated human sentiment. Wait, you mean... it's out of solar juice? And then... Jin is like, no, it can't be, because there's been another 12,000 years since then. Yeah, there's been another... T and think about where humanity... where mankind's gotten to. The blood of beasts. The mingling of waters. The destination of the wind. The civilization of fire. And. And Hibiki, the shining of the sun. I was like, that's right. Time to witness all of them. And then these two jokers, like, no, the brighter the light, the deeper the darkness, and thus we are invincible. Love and hate, are two sides of the same coin. And then Hibiki's like, yeah. Like twins. And then Gumi's like, what the hell, Hibiki? Not all twins are shitheads! That's right, Mars. Light and dark. You're right. It's not for light to extinguish the, the darkness, but to find something beyond both of them. And then... I was like, alright everyone, I'm fucking done. Let's yell, let's do it. And then with courage, love, and justice, we'll show you uh, what humans have got in this uh, dark place. Dark place, dark place. And so, it's like, I got it, it's not to get rid of the darkness. Fucking computer vault, see? Darkness is bullshit, humans are light and good. Oh, Aquarian. Is just a spell too? No. No, it's just what they all got have. It's like, that's it, we're getting it. And Mars thinks uh, that the point of a loving heart is to surpass hatred. And hope is about facing despair. Both love and darkness, together, make a person. And so you mustn't deny the darkness, but accept it move beyond it. Yeah. That's right, Mars! It's me, the not-dead brother. And so, Takaru th thinks how Hibiki's already set the example for how to move past the uh, worrying emotions. And Marg uh, thinks back to when he was born with Mars as twins, one being split into light and dark. And Zul um, attached to Marg because Zul only cares for darkness, hoping to one day use him to nullify the brother of light, Mars. But they figured out his stupid plan and they worked together and beat him, so... There's nothing evil about darkness itself. Just thinking it's evil is where evil begins. And living only in the light cannot bring around justice. So, these two boys like, nice work brother, we did it. We're so good, we're the best bros of all time. And then seeing that conversation happen... Gets the elements like... 
Hell yeah, that's good shit. And then these guys are like, yeah, remember when we were buried alive? Yeah, death isn't something to be feared. I mean, all the souls of our loved ones, uh, like, there too. And it's like, yeah, that's right. The power of darkness can't do shit. And then here's Cabe thinking about his loved one. I thought, Father, hell yeah, we're doing it. Big bro. Kitan. Father, sister. It's like, that's right, we got all this bullshit, let's go. And then... And we're like, hey, you know we're the power of light? We've also got the power of darkness, eat shit. You've brought us to the realm of infinite power. We're unstoppable here, you jokers. And it's like, yep, we did it. That's balance for you. Just as bright a light brings the darkness into relief, the darker darkness makes the light easier to see. And that basically just means that we're the best shit of all time. And we're unstoppable, and space is like, oh, impossible. And Zool is like, oh, no, they figured out. They figured out ultimate bullshit. Zool, you're done. Mars, you and Mark is like, let's go, brother. So time for Mars's good shit. But the soul is with me and helps you to fight. Everything is gone. Yeah, like Space Saiyan can absorb everything. But now that we're powered by darkness as well as light, he's like, what's he gonna do? Make us more powerful than ever before? Ridiculous. You can't win. Like, I'll do just logic to these guys to fucking lose it. Like, hey dude, we're also powered by darkness now too. Look at him, he's so dreamy. Space Saiyan is a black hole, not even darkness gets out of there. Black Ox is pretty dark and he managed to get out, so it seems like you're not believing in the team hard enough. So, it's like, that's right, Choro, give him a go. Alright. Time to get the line network going. Use the V-Con, dude. You don't need it. Alright. Fight, Tetsujin! Duh! Tetsujin's gonna fight me, this sucks! Go, Tetsujin, beat the shit out of this idiot. <laughs> yeah, exactly! We can unhole the hole again! Duh! But without the controller, how can he be controlled? It's like, that's right, Tetsujin. Show him that Earthlings are good and the power of everything is good and Space Saiyan sucks. <laughs> and now for Tetsujin to do his new move. <laughs> Space Saiyan. Oh shit, dude! I love the 3DS. Solar energy. Go charge. And that's Tessujin. Oh, yeah. Tetsujin! So weak he can't even blow himself up. What a dynamic kill though. And he's like, that's right Space Satan! After I saw Gestalt try and blow up my buddy by overloading his uh, solar reactor, I figured out that I could come up with a really cool attack where all I gotta do is just channel that into something. And no explosion, so I channeled it into that guy and fucking blew him up with the power of the sun. E shit. It's like, nice work, dude. The power of the sun's are pretty nice, Shotaro. Ah, Daitan. You also want in. Banjo! Daitan 3's powering up on its own. Huh? He's like, yeah, Daitan's alive. It's a prototype uh, mega bulk. Don't worry about it. 
It's not often brought up, but it is completely self-aware. And it's now further matured by all the solar energy flying around all over the place. So, it's like we beat the Meganoids. Let's go. Boing. So, Kabe, Water, now Daitan's powered up. And now let's use our Robo combination, the Muteki Robo combination. Hell yeah, Banjo! Alright, bro! <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Sorry, computer doll. You're controlled by your ego, and egotism does not pay. Now, witness the strength of humanity. You really my little friends? <laughs> Banjo's my bro, let's go! <laughs> Even some robots would be pretty scary. Now, if you fear not the power of the sun, face me! Zambok, Trader, Sun, Moon, Bird! Well, yeah, why would uh, why would Wada spend uh, more money than he has to? The baseball hat is rated for extreme abuse. Humans, you're bullshit. That's right, buddy. Now get the fuck out of here. That's the power of humanity. The power of the sun. Duh, impossible. It's like, yeah, we're invincible, dude. It's the your robot. And then Mikage's like, impossible. How could this be? And Mikage, and then uh, Fudo says, yes. The humans have found reserves of light within themselves. The splendor. <laughs> the splendor is light. What incredible. Did you have and then Gura showed up and he's like, How you doing, Dad? And for his all? Gura? Gura, have you come to betray me, your father? Buddy, after 12,000 years, you're full of shit. You changed a lot since uh, the black hole swallowed our world 12,000 years ago. And instead of uh, joining the Earthlings in a quest for the shining of the sun, you elected to descend into darkness. And now it's fallen to Gura to um, free. He's like, And now I will free you. From that sad fate. Gora, you're my child. No, and then Zul's like, no, you're not gonna beat us today. We got, we got to come back later when it's more accurate for everybody to beat us. Why? It's like nice work. And then Gestalt shows up and he's like, well, I guess it's up to me. And it's like Gestalt, aren't you a bit of Zul? That's bullshit. How there's a little bit of Zul and a whole Zul hanging around. I don't like that at all. And then shut up. Now I'll fight alongside you. Guro, you're my friend. Hell yeah, dude. My father and Zul are up to no good. I'm joining the team. Hell yeah, Guro. Shut up, Guro. Yeah, all the friends are back. Power of Darkness, team go. And. Oh no, I curse you. Just curse you. It's like, hey, Bekage, you full of shit. Shut up, Wing Dog. I'll be back later. And he tells the pitiful wingless that will soon know the terror of that which lies beyond light and darkness. And off he goes. Kage. Oh, you know. Kinda sucks, doesn't it? And then Fudo says, uh, fear not, Mikano Suzushiro. It's like, come on, Fudo. They come back. And he says, nope. Fudo says, I've taught the team all I can. And I look forward to seeing you walk under your own power. It's like, wow, we're done? Old man. He's like, anyway, see ya. And off he goes. Yeah, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is bullshit. It's Pokemon where now this is like dimensional bullshit. I hate it. Gestalt, bring it, Zeppelin, let's go. It's like, dude, you already fucking lost. 
you're done, dude. But yeah, um, guest out couldn't. Re yeah, guest out couldn't criticize F Fudo for fleeing because his own boss just did that. And um, Mars here is like, yeah, one day all of us will die, except maybe C2, but not today, buddy. Step over gets me a million dudes, and that's good shit. Fight a guy, I need these dudes to get a bomb. Get big, get bigger. Bomb trench. And then here's Hibiki, uh, transcending light and dark. Such a human's what lies beyond the conflicting emotions. That's the true essence of the quarreling twins. But what's the significance of that conciliation? Hey, boom. Apart from the Just that he's brave. And then these guys should get their thing and have their little chat. Here we go. So, yeah, nice tag team we've got going on here. Yeah, nice combination. Of course, as twins, we've always been together. you got some of that quarreling twins action going too. Counting on you, Darry. Right back at ya, gimme. It's like, oh, there you go. So we're just getting the powers of twins all the time, all over the show, everywhere. And now I need this Joker to fight a guy. Actually, I don't need this particular Joker to fight a guy, but he can fight a guy, he can his eyes. The punch. And then Kagura, <laughs> the old man. And then Amada. It's like Fudo showed up because he knew we were in trouble. And then Apollo, what the hell is up with that guy? Oh, it's one of like these two dogs, like one and two halves. So cool, don't you? What are they like, eh? Absolute bullshit that they're breaking the rules. <laughs> You already allowed one of each person in a dimension, or otherwise it all gets fucked up. And Fudo's like, yeah, but I, I bend the rules all the time, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's actually, it's good. Nothing's gonna go wrong. I love the homing laser and I love the... So energy discharge. And then here we go, Gura. From this day onwards, you're our comrade. You consider someone like me as you don't like it? I didn't say that. Ah, that's a relief. A friend's problems are my problems. 
friend. Fine word indeed. Let's do this, Gora. Lend us some of your strength. Understood. I shall do. I shall also do everything within my power to help this universe. How do you fucking miss eye lasers, dude? You just gotta look at something. How do you miss looking at something? And then... Father, even now I've no intention of forgiving your crimes. But it seems that part of me believes you also had faith for humanity's future. So I, along with Daitan 3, shall set out towards that future. Though, we'll use different methods from yours. Super final. So we've got Punch, God Flash, uh, no, Godfire, Mars Flash, Final God Mars, Super Final God Mars. Fucking 7150, that's a big fucking move. As moves go. And then I feel my brother's soul within me. I'm going, brother. Whatever the future has in store, I'll fight to fulfill my promise to you. Chris <laughs> looks like Kamugra's out. He does a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, we tried to teach Guru about friendship over the course of like 30 stages, and then he was like, actually, friendship's pretty good, and he joined us. Like, he was like, yeah, alright, I'll hang out with you guys for just this once. But I got shit to do, alright? Like, he was like, I hate beaches, I hate girls, I hate food, it's garbage. And then he was like, you know what? Maybe beaches and friends are alright. Dorothy. Nah, it's not me cross home and lazy, it's not me cross. <laughs> And then he's fucking murdered the shit out of you. He sucks. He's garbage. He's just trash. Pure garbo. So I'll go beat him up. Yeah, I know. I know what it means! I'll play Fire Emblem! I know the Shah Cross armor is just a armor. Poor Gustav, he's fucking dead. Died as he lived, full of shit. And Gustav's like, duh, jeez! You bears with the stigma are real strong! And then he leaves, gets blown up. It's like, what's up with that dude? And then Takaru says, uh, uh, Gestalt is only a fragment of Zul, and until Zul is defeated, Gestalt will truly die. But, Noriko is like, yeah, as expected of a bad dude. But, um, 
until uh, Emperor Zul and Space Satan finish their preparations. And we're gonna have to beat him up. And he's like, uh oh, what's this? Don't worry about it, it's fine. And then Gurren's like, yep! Zul and my father are off doing a bunch of garbage, so balance will be restored and we will get ejected back to your world. It's like, nice work, dude. Uh, basically, uh, people that are alive don't last long in the darkness, and the darkness mostly kicks them out before they have a chance to get ultra murdered. But Mars knows that his brother is never far away, and that's he's like, don't worry, Rose, it's good. My dead ass brother is always with me. He's the least dead dude of all time. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Wing. And so, we get plopped out. Nice work. Can confirm we're here. And uh, one week has passed while we were messing around. Um, but. We get a message from uh, the Rock Island that Amalgam are about to destroy the world. What the? Yep, yeah, mm hmm. Alright then. Let's go. And so. Bright's getting in touch and he says that the Tessa's the one who figured it out and she's told everybody else and she's called for an emergency meetup. And Fox and Bright fills everybody in on what everybody else has done. He said the final battle with Amalgam is going to be at Neo Tokyo 3. 